guys, so today, Max and I interviewed OHL forward Caleb Pearson, who currently is a forward on the OHL's own sound attack. Thanks for watching, and enjoy. Okay, so my first question is, growing up, did you always play right wing, or did you switch positions later on in your career? Yes, yes, I did. So, growing up, I played for the Huron Perth Lakers, and I was always right wing. Uh, the odd, very odd time I'd play center, but that was just if one of uh, one of the guys were hurt. But yeah, going up through uh, through minor hockey and uh, my junior career, I've always played right wing. Yeah, I mean Max and I've been playing goalie for around five years, fully. Yeah. Oh, nice. How do you guys like that? Uh, I mean, um, it's it's fun. Uh, didn't really want to be in any other position, and my dad said that like if if I chose to be a player, I wouldn't like get to go through on through Bantam because he doesn't oh, really? want me getting he does he doesn't want me getting hurt or anything. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. I understand that for sure. Yeah, yeah, I like switch around all positions for roller hockey, and I in line, in, in line hockey, I play every position, so it's kind of a good taste of but like, play defense sometimes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are your favorite off-season activities, like not including anything hockey-related? Oh, geez. Um, pretty, pretty, uh, it's not much going on my, uh, my neck of the woods, but uh, a lot of golf and a lot of video games for sure. Some Netflix shows. I've been binge-watching a heck of a lot of shows. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to try to get out uh, with my buddies on the, on the course a couple – couple times a week but yeah that's about it and then just uh some training i'm at the gym every day and uh just uh, a nice nice kind of keep uh, in the routine of things yeah yeah i mean my off season wasn't cut short we just ended right before covid we had like one practice left um so i, I mean i don't really do golf but yeah some video games some netflix shows uh, nice, yeah. I was supposed to do camps, but that kind of uh, wasn't, or it got canceled. Um, oh, really? Like, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I don't go to the gym, but like, I still work out a lot. That's nice. That's fun. good. Yeah. Whenever I'm on the course, a couple slices go into the woods. So I'm trying to get better on my golf game for sure. But uh, it's not really helping right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and while playing AAA hockey, uh, what was the most important thing you learned? Um, I just probably say never give up. I mean, I wasn't, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I wasn't drafted uh, in my uh, minor midget year. And I ended up getting drafted uh, in my major midget year. So my U18, uh, my U18 year when the U18 draft first came out, that was when I got drafted. And I got drafted to Flint. And then I got a trade dough and sound. But uh yeah, I'd have to say never give up. I don't think I really uh, really did. I faced a lot of adversity through those years, but um, I wouldn't uh, change change anything for, if I could. I think uh, it just made me a stronger person, and I'm uh, just happy the way, it, uh, the way it's been going. Yeah. Wait, which team were you drafted on originally? Uh, the Flint Firebirds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's yeah. kind of – I mean, that is, like, like, important that, like, you should never really give up. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, um, I know you've worn both 26 and 12 and maybe some other numbers, but if you had to go into one next season, what number would you wear and your specific reason? Um, I don't know. I, I, like, I like 26 right now, but, I mean, if I had to switch, I was 15 um, – Number fifteen when I played uh, junior B for Stratford, and uh, that kind of that's my birth uh, my birthday. So I don't know if if I had to switch, it would probably go to fifteen. Or I wore eleven when I was in uh, minor hockey for uh, for eight years, so it'd have to be between eleven and fifteen for sure. Yeah, I mean I've worn thirty uh, in my entire life. Um, just also I'm a goalie, so thirty is the most common goalie number. But yeah. also because I'm a huge Henrik Lundqvist fan. Oh, nice, nice man. Yeah, you could go. Yeah. Could go. Uh, what's the guy on Edmonton? He's I don't know his name. He's nineteen though. I think it's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. I might pick like 
um, if 30 is taken for my high school team, which it probably will be, I uh, I might switch to like 79 or try to hard yeah. number. Nice, yeah, like switch it off. That's that's sweet, man. Yeah. Um, my next question is: In your opinion, what is your greatest strength on the ice, and what is your greatest weakness on the ice? Oh, you're really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> um, my greatest strength, uh, I'd have to say, is my shot. I think I got, I think I got a pretty good shot. I know <laughs> I can, uh, I know I can get it off pretty quick, and I think it's pretty, uh, pretty accurate. And yeah, I know I'm always working on it for sure. But I have to say, yeah, that's my greatest strength. And my weakness, um, I like to say I don't have a weakness, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I'd have to say maybe, maybe just my. Um, my uh, playmaking ability and my awareness sometimes I think I need to, I'm always working on that stuff I know I try to be try to be the best uh, best player I can but I know it's uh, always hard being like uh, in the right position and stuff like that and I'm always always uh, learning from other guys and like seeing what they're doing on the ice and stuff like that but yeah I'd have to say just um, my awareness I think I need to be aware at all situations and all times but yeah I'm always going to be working on it and I'm hopefully going to get better on it for sure yeah, I mean, personally, like, my my greatest strength, in my opinion, is, like, seeing the first shot or, like, saving the first shot. Um, because um, the goalie's main priority is to save the first shot, and which brings me to my next point. My greatest weakness is rebound control um, mm -hmm. because, it's, uh, personally, it's just hard to control the rebound to somewhere where a player isn't. Um, you have to make that, like, split-second decision, which is Yeah, for priority. sure. Definitely. I always, I always hear our goalie coach saying, if there's a rebound, try and push it into the corner where no one really is, right? But yeah, I don't yeah. think I could ever a goalie. That's just like I don't think I could ever do that. I think that's way too hard for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like I log all the goals I let in against me, and I was actually really surprised by this. I oh, three percent of the goals I let in went in blocker side. So I think like my blocker side is definitely like my biggest strength. Nice man. That's sick. That's so good. Thanks. Um, do you have any pregame music you like to listen to before, like, practices and games? <laughs> um, yeah, I always always try and throw my head, headphones in before a, uh, before a game. But I'm always – it's, it's like, it's weird with me. I'm, like, some days I'll be, like, all rap or some days I'll be, like, country or, like, EDM, stuff like that. It's just – it switches every day. I don't know why, but just the mood I'm in. But, uh, yeah, whenever I, whenever I get the right song, I'm just buzzing and I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I I listen to uh the score a lot. I don't know why they're just really really nice band. Yeah, man. I I yeah. I listened. I downloaded their one song a couple of weeks ago. I think it's Higher or something. It's actually a sick song. Yeah, that yeah, that's a good song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Personally, I like uh best part, either the best part or uh probably like um unstoppable because like. That that's the one everyone knows. Mm -hmm, yeah, for sure. I'm I'm. If you, you guys probably don't know this, but I'm like always looking for new music. So if you guys have any suggestions, like fire me a text or something, because <laughs> I'm always looking for new tunes. I love that stuff. Yeah, my playlist is like good with the weekend right now. I like just started listening to a few songs, and I was like, these are good. And then like I just like went through the playlist and put all of them on my like songs list. Nice, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And how was the transition from AAA hockey to the GOJHL? Yeah, I, um, it was it was really good. I mean, my team when I was on Stratford was phenomenal. They were they were just the best. They really um, they really helped me through the through my first year there. And yeah, it was just you know it's always guys are always gonna say it's always gonna be a faster and higher higher pace uh, game. But yeah, the guys really helped me, and I think the trans the transition went uh, really good, and I'm uh, just happy, and I'm so grateful for the guys on my team. Then, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm transitioning from like a A A double A level um team to like high school, um, which is probably going to be a lot faster and a lot stronger because they're kids from like 14 to 18. Oh yeah, for sure, like. Anytime you're playing against like a league or in a league with older guys, it's always going to be difficult when you're a younger guy, but it's always just, uh, you just got to persevere and stick with it and you'll be all, you'll be fine for sure. 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, what three things do you love about hockey the most? Um, for the first one, I just have to say, just it's so much fun. Like I, I just breathe hockey all the time. I'm always shooting pucks. I'm always doing something with hockey. And then the second one is just, I always, I'm a big, uh, big like, uh, what do you say? I like to be active and stuff like that. So it's, another one would just be that. I know I'm always, always getting a sweat on when I'm out uh, out on the ice and stuff like that. And the third one, I just say. It's always been a dream of mine to play in the NHL and just play as high as I can. So probably just my drive for for the game. I think that's probably the the third one for sure. Yeah, drive's yeah. definitely very important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean personally, like my goal in like the coming in like the coming years is to make it in a varsity either sophomore or junior year. Um, nice. And if I have like a good like one or like like two to three years in high school and club um i'm i'm gonna see if like i can enter one of like the import drafts for the chl or the ushl oh nice what school do you guys what, what school do you guys go to uh I'm the st peter's prep okay nice nice Kyle Palmieri, actually. oh really did he oh sweet yeah i did not yeah. know that <laughs> Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, Kyle Palmieri uh went to my school for two years, and then he went to the USNDP. Oh, nice! I did not know that. That's sick. Yeah, cool. I actually checked his stats. He was like really good. <laughs> really yeah, cool. cool. He's pretty. He's a pretty good player. Yeah, I mean, when you have Kyle Palmieri on your team, you can like <laughs> do really well. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um. And my next question is: Playing two seasons in the GOJHL, how did it feel transitioning into a much bigger league like the OHL? Um. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. I hit my notification. Um. It was. It, it was kind of tough. I mean, the the pace from the junior B to the OHL. I mean, it's really it's a big change. But uh, again, the guys on the team really helped me in my first year. And yeah, it just I think I just uh, took uh, took away what guys were doing before before games and before practices, just like their preparation stuff like that. And I had the mindset of I have to be good every single time I'm on the ice when I'm on when I'm in the in the in the locker room and just with the onside attack. And yeah, I think uh, I think it was just that. Like I just knew I had to be good, and I just uh, stuck with it. Yeah, I mean, uh, for me. Um, there wasn't really like a goalie on my team that was older than me. I was always the oldest goalie on my team. Uh, so I didn't really have like anyone to look up to, and to like mirror them. So I just uh, kind of came up with my own routine that worked, and just if we won, we won, and if we lost, I'd switch it up and try something else the next game or the next practice, and see what works. Yeah, you got that. That's. That's actually an amazing point. I mean, I have a lot of uh, little routines that that I do before games and stuff like that. And if if it, if I have a bad game that uh, game, I always I'm always looking to switch stuff up. I, I like to try new things. But yeah, I just think routines are really really good for my uh, my game and me getting ready for a game and stuff like that. But yeah, I just I find a when I get in a good routine and I stick with it, I just I I'm really confident for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. My next question is, um, as a little bit of a shorter forward, uh, how do you play and outwork taller and bigger ones? Um, I have to say, I think my style of play is kind of like a gritty, gritty play. I know I can, uh, I like to throw the body a lot, and I, I think I need to do that some more, like this coming year. But I think I just need, to, I just, sorry, I just need to have the mindset every time I'm going against a bigger guy or even the same size as me, just uh, know that I want to, I want the puck and I'm, I'm not going to, not going to stop until I get the puck or until I get it out of my zone or anything like that, for sure. Definitely. I think that's just a, uh, that's a huge point that I think a lot of uh, smaller guys really need to hear and uh, just never give up on a play for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, Like the same could be said for like a goalie and like, not really like the gritty style, but just like never giving up on a play. Like even if 
like the pucks come in your zone for like five minutes and you're getting like 10 shots um, in that span of like five minutes or you just like stick through it and just try to give your team like a fighting chance. Yeah, exactly. And also when you guys get out of that, say you're in the zone in your zone for five minutes and you get it out, you're going to get some momentum from that. And that's your team's going to notice that. And they're going to, I'm sure they're going to get excited for you and they're just going to, it'll translate to the, to the play on the ice. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, and in your first season in the OHO, you put up 28 points, but in this year you put up 52. Um, how, how, what was like the inspiration or that, uh, motivation to give you that big jump in your point production? Uh, I just say just my will. I just want to get better every, uh, every hockey season and this coming up season, I'm going to try to better my uh, last season for sure. But uh, for last season, I just thought uh, I was more confident throughout the year. I uh, shot the puck a little more. And, yeah, and my, my line mates, I played with uh, a lot of guys, but uh, mostly I played with uh, Kerwin and Pops through the, se- or through the year, and they helped me a lot. They uh, set me up a bunch of times, and I think we had some really good chemistry. We, we were just a, a really dominant line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you don't really have dominant lines like as a goalie but it's just uh when like I had I had a jump in like my save percentage um two seasons ago where um I had like four shutouts in one season and that was uh, like a big boost for me in uh last season um I did uh really well also um like and even though like our team didn't really do well just uh, personally, like a- as an individual goalie, um, my stats showed that I did okay at at very least okay. So I mean, yeah, I'm just nice. hoping to like just build on that. Yeah, exactly. I think a uh, big thing, big thing for success is confidence. I know, like you said, you had four shutouts that season, and that's just amazing. Like once you start uh, start racking up some some uh, good. Uh, some good qualities and stuff like that. Your confidence levels are going to go off for sure. And your play definitely like it works for, or it's uh, happened with me a lot. Like once I get going, my confidence starts to get up and I find I, I play a lot better than uh, if I was just like, if I was getting down on myself or something like that. But yeah, I think confidence is a really big thing and you just need to, you just need to be confident every game. You need to uh, like know your abilities and uh, just play confident for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Like when I, in the game, I started off the season a little bit shaky, like I had a losing record throughout the first three months. And then it came to November, and I went on like a three-game shutout streak, and it was just awesome. And then every game I went into it like it was nothing. And then I like had a complete turnaround. Like my I, like it was a winning record. I had more assists than half our team at the end of the year, and it's just huge. The like, confidence can really do a lot for you. Oh yeah, definitely, guys. Yeah, there was one game like two years ago. It was. Uh, the bronze medal game in a Lake Placid tournament that our team was in. Um, and we were like down two to one uh, in the third period, like entering the third period. Uh, and then our coach, um, the other goalie was in my backup. And then uh, my coach put me in. And then I faced like 15 shots and I stopped them all. We carried it to like a 3 2 win. And that was like a really big boost because we had districts in like two weeks. Yeah, um, nice. Because we won the state championship before the Lake Placid tournament, so um, we so in districts we did really well, but uh, we lost six to five in the finals. Oh yeah, no. Well, I mean, there's not much you can do about that now. That's in the past, but yeah, I just I I gotta say, if if anyone was to to ask me what uh, what really propels my my game would just be confidence for sure. I mean, any kid going through a, a rough spill through their season or through their through the year, yeah, I just have to say, play confident and trust in your abilities. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, if there's one NHL player you can meet, uh, who would you like to meet with? Oh, well, I know a lot of people are going to say that, would probably say this, but uh, it'd have to be Connor McDavid for me. The guy's just an absolute stud. He's, he's the best player in the, in, the, in the league, in the world, in my mind. I mean, Sidney Crosby is also a pretty good player, but I think he's kind of got him beat right now. But, uh, yeah, it would have to be Connor M- McDavid for sure. Yeah, I mean, I just saw this video where 
um, it went. There was like a quiz, and some guy went through like the top 100 scores, point scores of the decade. So from 2010 to 2020, Connor McDavid played for like five seasons, and he was already in like the 40s. I know it's he crazy. Like He's so good. He's insane. so good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, personally, I would like to meet Henrik Lundqvist. Um, just because I I looked up to him ever since I was like four, whenever I could remember liking hockey. Oh, nice. That's good. He's got some good style. I I I'd, I'd like to meet Henrik Lundqvist too. Actually, he's got amazing style. I could could use some style tips from him for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And yeah. in your and in your opinion, are you more of an offensive or like a defensive player? Um, I'd for for sure say that I'm an offensive uh, offensive minded player. I think uh, my game is really really uh, around creating offense and uh, trying to put the puck in the net and making uh, chances. For sure, I need to, my defensive zone is a big uh, big part of my game too. I mean. I'm always trying to get better on my defensive and offensive offensive game. But, yeah, I'd have to say my uh, offensive game. Yeah. I mean, for me, there's not really, like, offensive or defensive for goalies. Um, but if, like, I would compare, it's, like, are you more of, like, a rebound stopper or do you, like, stop the first shot more often than not? Because my backup goalie, um, he lets in some first shots. But he stops a lot of he he stops a lot more rebounds than I do. But he misses a lot more first shots than I do. And for me, it's kind of like the opposite. Um, and he's also a lot shorter, so he gets to the ground a lot quicker. Um, but I'm a lot taller than him. Uh, so, um, it's um it's uh it's um. I forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry. No worries. Um, all right, I got it. Um, it it's um a lot easier for me to like uh see above other players and look around them and find the first shot. Um, but because like my greatest weakness is rebound control, sometimes I give up rebounds a lot. So yeah, those so, like I would characterize myself as someone who just saves the first shot. Um. And not always saves the second, but can but always tries to save the second. Yeah, no, that's good. I mean, you got to play to your strengths, right? So, and you got to. Yeah. And when you're when you're using your weaknesses or playing with your weaknesses, I mean, you just have to find a way to uh, to make them work. And it's just it's hard, but I mean, it's something everyone's going to learn to do, and it'll it'll just benefit you in the in the long run. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a shorter goalie, so it's sometimes it's hard for me to see over big screens. But I think my rebound control is like one of the best I've seen. Like at my level, like I'm really, I'm really good at being able to, you know, like move to the puck and really get my body in front of it. And I use my glove very, like, really well in terms of covering and catching. So I think my rebound control is definitely one of my strengths. And I can't really do anything about like me being a little bit shorter, but. I got really good defensemen that are really good at getting the bigger guys out in front of me. So it like, allows me to play my game. Yeah, that's perfect. That's great. Yeah. I mean, some people, some people just to, like make me feel better say that I have like a like, triple A first shot sighting, like triple A glove hand. Um, because like I went to a tournament in Montreal last year and like I had to make those like flashy glove saves a couple of times. I had to like reach across and like through that traffic, just find the, find the save in the glove. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And my last question is, uh, what are your major goals in the coming seasons that you want to accomplish? Um. For next season, for sure, I'd want to. Uh, I want to crack the thirty goal mark. I know I was I was kind of close to it uh, last year, but I always I always like I said before, I want to better my my season from last year, and I want to. That was a goal of mine last year too for for um, cracking the 30 goal mark but I think next year I'm gonna I'm gonna work really hard to uh to achieve that and then another one would be just uh just do the best I can I mean I'm always gonna be working hard I'm gonna never give up uh this season I think I'm I think it's gonna be really good for me I'm gonna try and take a uh, more of a leader role next year 
with the young guys. I mean, with it being my last year, I'm going to be a leader to the young guys in the room. And, uh, yeah, and I just hope uh, hope we do really good this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, my next question is, what's your favorite hockey theme movie? Oh, um, <laughs> I have a couple. So, Miracle on Ice is just a classic. That's my favorite. I love that. Yeah, I love that movie. And then uh, there's two more. Um, the Mighty Ducks. I always used to watch that when I was a kid. I don't know if you guys you guys probably know about it, but I watched I've seen uh, it like ten times. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So we're in the same book. My brother. I've watched. Like, all, he got me like all three movies from uh, my birthday. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was gonna say like I've watched the the three movies a lot. I mean, it's just a classic. I love that movie. And then my last one, I'd have to say it would would have to be Goon. <laughs> Like, um, <laughs> the first, I like the first one for sure. I don't think the second one's that good, but the first one I like, it's just a, just a classic and it's always just funny. Yeah. I mean, I, Miracle on Ice is also my favorite follow close to the model by the first Mighty Duck movie. Uh, but, um, I've seen Slapshot, like at least some parts of Slapshot. And I thought that was also funny. Oh yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. Uh. Well, that was my last question, Max. Do you have any more questions? No, that's all mine. Oh. All right. Well, thank thank you very much, Caleb. That was this was awesome. Hey, no worries, guys. I appreciate you having me on here, and uh, just good luck and with your with your seasons next year. And uh, I'll be I'll be watching you guys for sure.